Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 52 Grand Final between World Sitar and Ducky, a exciting Orc Mirror. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Everybody, and here we have one of the last CCLs that probably is going to be happening. And who better to be in it than Ducky that was also at the beginning of the CCL uh, Cups. Mm. And also who better to kick a dead horse on the ground. Dan Ducky to finish the life of the Bruce Bowler online experience. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he might be kicking it here as, oh my god, the, the team, there's a big team disparity. Um, 11 guard for Ducky, he's, a, he's got a guard on the bench. Um, 11 guard, amazing team. Uh, World Tatar has bought himself an ogre. And he's got uh, Bomber Dribble Snot. He's got Ugrothi. This is actually an Orc Chainsaw. And he's got a Babe as well. So, which is a, you know... Ken. It's a difficult situation for Wall Sitar. But before we continue, this game is dedicated to our viewers in... Libya. A country in the North Africa, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Mm. Which a density of four people per square kilometer... Uh, the currency is the Libyan dinar, the national flower is the pom pomegranate blossom, and the national dish is the couscous. And Libya, unfortunately, a country that suffered a lot of troubles in recent decades. So I can only hope the best for the people, for the good people in Libya and the Blood Bowl coaches in Libya, if there mm -hmm. is any. Yep. Which I'm pretty sure someone, someone must heard of, uh, uh, heard of Blood Bowl. Yeah, and I sure. hope it's someone not related with the Gaddafi family. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to stream at Dead Skin Mask, and thank you very much. Was... Well, Johnny Five, if you check the Libya flag, it changed like 10 years ago. Mm. Well, there you go. And, uh, hello. Pirate Bear, hello, Hoopy Gamer, and uh, yeah, Carl Ancelotti, I don't know that he's been very lucky, but I mean, he's had the best team, and he's uh, he's been lucky enough, hasn't he, certainly. Here we go. I mean, these are going to be these are going to be probably long hard long hard turns from World Sitar because this is you know this is really hard right now. Uh, yes, there is no no doubt that he's going to need to take his time mm. oh, yeah, because so at some point his time can start going to start becoming very very fast mm -hmm. because he doesn't have players. He thinks things go the way they are. <laughs> yep. Gonna predict the orcs. Nice one, Dimmy. I mean, yeah, I think, I think, I think we can all predict Ducky's orcs will win, but you know, they might not. Well, he has a the world sitter has a pylon, a uh, jump up a piece, the chainsaw. If he gets really, really, really lucky in the first turn. Yeah, he's got 2D on the uh, troll. And, and he's pushing him into a fouling uh, kind yes. of place. Okay, but... Or at least a free hit. <laughs> free hit with a chainsaw. Yeah. And then that frees up the the, the bomb to uh, throw, throw a bomb, which also he needs to, you know. Uh... Yeah, he's benching obviously his ball career for the second half, and the troll and the goblin to try the one turn. Oh, instant cars! Oh, let me, baby! 
Regen fails! Oh, what a swing! Well, there you go. That's exactly what World of Tar needed. Massive. Big, big uh, result for uh, World of Tar there. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> You can understand that greed, right? Like, okay, it's not it's not a big hit. Like, he hasn't got a mighty blow or anything, but at least just pushing him away would stop a mighty blow hit coming back on him next turn. And uh, and he still had, you know, this... But, wow, that was pretty unlucky. And now his players are going to keep the be hit. Yeah, like it's it's a totally fair re roll. Like you can you can say it's great, but uh, not only protecting the oh god, not only protecting the killers, protecting the bomber as well, right? Yes. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad oh. for the time. Surely he's gonna come in with uh what's this up? He's not. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised. Is he maybe aiming for the change or? I guess you could punch him first and then blitz him on yeah. three dice with Black Hawk. Yeah, maybe that's it. Big roll by Ducky, but Ducky wants those secret weapons out of the pitch, and here he comes. Yep, just go for the 3D blitz. I mean, he kind of needed the power to get that, get the 3D in. So it was a little bit, it was a little bit greedy there, from, and obviously he had to do the blockless block before, so it was a little bit greedy by by Ducky there, but. Worked out. Yes, Dirty Rock, so I do believe this is the best two quarters in the final for a long time, yep. Mm, I, I didn't think Greed was this good this turn, I would have much preferred the 2D from him, but. Fair enough, isn't it? <laughs> yes, J5. Armbands of contract. <gasps> well, it's funny, isn't it? You know, Ducky is one of those people like Elliot and I tend to be like, when we think we're ahead, we tend to not try and take any risks and we try to button it down. And Ducky does tend to try and go for the, uh, you know, a bigger snowball when he's ahead. And, you know, like... Both uh, both ways can work, can't they? It's just different style, but that does tend to be Ducky style. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some fouls going in soon. Um, well, certainly on the killer, but even other people, like, you know, I wouldn't foul anyone but the killer, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Ducky fouling other players even. Lucky won uh, a few of the first uh, CCL. He did, yeah. He's won three CCLs. And, uh, you know, most of them, well, all of them near the start. But, um, you know, it still still took something to win them. <laughs> it doesn't, they're not completely devalued. Um, there, were, there, there were a lot of inducements, Dirty Rack, so uh, there was a Bomber Dribble Snot, um, Ugroth, who's the Orc, Chainsaw, although obviously it looks like the goblin. You think the goblin might play for orcs? It's actually an orc with a chainsaw. A babe, and uh, also World to tell bought a troll. A 
very impressive Burtz for Ducky. A very impressive win rate in CCL. A very impressive Chalice record. <laughs> yes. Let's see, it. there you go. And almost, well, not almost certainly, but a very good chance of it being four chalices after <laughs> four wins after this one. Oh, wow, he's rolled a one on the saw. Ah, we re rolled and worked. Well, World Sitar uh, had the luck he needed the first time, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. It is indeed J5, yeah. Um, World Sitar is no slouch as well. Look at that, 74.6. Very high overall win rate. He just hasn't done very well in Chalice. Like, I don't think he's really qualified for Chalice, hardly. Um, but has always been great. Mm -hmm. but, you know, obviously, the teams are a mismatch despite being both orcs. <laughs> he didn't try to dodge with a jump up uh, blitzer. No. It's a pain to tell teams apart, isn't it? Like it's uh, you know as 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 much as uh, we like are having a go at Blood Bowl three. <laughs> Blood Bowl two was never the best at telling teams apart when they were like the same race. Yeah, the difference in equipment are not that big. If only there was only kind of customization so you could modify your players. <laughs> That's exactly what Blood Bowl needs. <laughs> Banter. I think he can blitz the. Uh, oh, well, in the start, jump, I think you blitz this guy, don't you? And like stand about here. He's going to foul the jump up. Mm, I don't know if he can afford to follow him. Maybe he can. Nah, then I put in that black orc there now if he's not going to. I don't think he could afford to follow this too. Like, you know, protecting the ball and everything. Like he wants to play some amount of safe still, doesn't he? It's not worth it to... Uh... And he's has the 2D. I don't think he's blitzed this turn, has he? That, that, uh... Is he going to, like, dodge with the uh... black hole? Yeah, he is! Oh, hey! <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> wow. No wanting, definitely not scoring early. And, uh. Like, he can just. He can kind of control the whole team, can't he? That's the thing. Like, obviously, re tags the bomber because he doesn't. But the bomber should still probably bomb now. Probably going to be the best chance he's going to get. As, as much as it's like a long pass with a minus on. You've probably still just got to throw it and hope because you know, you've got basic emotions. I de definitely want to stall this out. Like if he scores early, he can lose, can't he? So he definitely wants to. Uh, definitely wants to stall the half out. He can go for the full uh, lack experience, you know, blitzing with the change of the black orc <laughs> with a block guard that is uh, next to the ball or the one with the uh, mighty blow that's next to the jump up piece and then throw the bomb. Mm. Yeah, he's going for that. I would, I would have maybe thought about just wow, huge cars, 
huge cars. You can be my wingman anytime. Apple comes in, works. Oof. Mega, mega Apple there for Ducky. Hello, Elliot. Glorious raid. Thank you very much. Oh, hello, we'll Elliot. To, uh, and find Raiders. out more about these boobies. You can see there are some Raiders here, probably new to Blood Bowl, like uh, Andy. How do you pronounce that? Andy Dabo? I don't know, probably a new guy, you know. <laughs> I think it's Davo, probably... isn't it? I've heard people say Davo. I know he's a new new kid on the block, but I'm sure people have said Davo. And okay, Andy, I, I can't follow the names, you know, of mm. all these new streamers popping around. <laughs> oh, he fails the jump up. Honestly, I think I would have done the bomb first, because I feel like if if you if you nail the bomb here and knock over all of them, <laughs> yes. then and you can you, use I... your, your blitz to do something. And if the bomb fails, it's like, yeah, all right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay. We're waiting for the glory of the bomber, but uh, not tonight. Mm. Hello, flicky, flicky, flicky. Indeed, glorious lamppost action. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. Well, the funny thing is, it's like the worst thing about it, right? Is the bombardier. Every, everyone hates. Uh, everyone hates bomber dribble snot in three. <laughs> Why? Why? Why he does he has anything special? Yeah, he's overpowered as fuck. The bombs have got mighty blow, and they don't have like the minus one from the stun. To, well, I guess they haven't got the plus one either, but still, um, oh, they don't oh, cause oh, turnovers, oh. and he's got a special ability. It isn't that good, but it's it still goes against like Blood Bowl, right? In that it's something automatically works, and normally in Blood Bowl, nothing automatically works. Surprised he didn't blitz the saw there, but gets a removal anyway. Violent, the uh, few first turns already have a dead. Uh... Troll of the uh, is troll is out, and he scores. Oh, he does score early? Gets, I mean, he does get rid of the bomber and the saw. But yeah, that's why he didn't hit the saw because he was going to score. I'm surprised. I'm actually surpri very surprised here. This gives World Sitar some kind of a shot. No, not much, but he's, he's set up for the 2 1 grind, isn't he? Yes. And uh, all his chaos have come back too, so. Mm. Wow. Let's call it what it was, uh, Jimmy. Ducky got scared of the change over the bomber. Say, oh, that's too much variance. I don't like variance. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But I mean, now there's a whole lot of variance because now there's two offensive drives for World Sitar. He could bang it in in five and then win 1 0 in the second half and he could win. I mean, it's going to be really, really hard. <laughs> With like but three he starts, guards. yes, he starts hitting and he has now the troll advantage. Yeah. <laughs> his, guard, his guard got cast. <laughs> so he's got three guard, one of which will have the ball. So he's essentially got two guard versus ten. So, um, you know, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for him still. This is indeed live, yes, old Frenchman. Yes. It's as live as you can get it because uh, we are using the advanced technology of Cabal TV that can be replicated for at least half a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, three and a half years in total. <laughs> it's a, it's an absolute mystery how they could make this happen. <laughs> It is at least it's super interesting now. Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised that that well, that Ducky scored so early. Really surprised. And like and, and obviously I know he's like got a huge advantage and like he's probably more likely to score than World Sitar is on World Sitar's drives. But still, it's still pretty amazing for World Sitar having having the chance. You know, he's got a chance here. Is World Sitar going to have to carry with a goblin to be able to use the guard of the world carrier? Yeah, maybe he should honestly. Maybe he should. Well, he should wait to see what happens on the first uh, blocks. Mm. You know, the team, uh, Ducky's team, everybody has guard except the dirty player. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, I mean. <laughs> wow. 
well, I think you're wrong, dog to the dog. You're completely and utterly wrong, but fair enough. Um, <laughs> I think Ducky's wrong as well. I guess he was just scared of the variance of the of the secret weapons. I guess that's what it was. But uh, it's an, uh, he thought he could, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, he's thinking I can, you know, stand the three hits, the four hits of the LOS and the Blitz, and then my team is just going to overpower his team. Yeah, I think it's more because of the, the team being way better that he decided to score. And he just obviously writes off any chance the World Star can do anything. Ducky Stroll, yes, Corpax. Ducky Stroll is out, and uh, the, one of the guard pieces, the guard my lineman of World Star, is dead. <laughs> yeah. But World Star the has troll, his apple. Yes, the troll uh, ate the chainsaw in the face. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is very hard to even get blocks as well as the tower, indeed. I mean, he's got Black Hawks, right? Black Hawks with a, with a guard help can maybe he's got a one sometimes. But it's, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> Great analysis from Dimmo. And uh, yeah, J5, there is definitely some web app bullshit. Um, I don't think it's fair to blame Rebel but, um, necessarily. But... Yeah, I don't know how Rebel entered into the equation, J5, but you know, that's how your mind works. Fine. <laughs> but yes, they mentioned the, the developers mentioned the web app to take care of leaks and all that. We were like, why are you talking about the web app? before those things are in the actual game. <laughs> yeah. And also, why should anyone need a web app to manage their Blood Bowl League instead yeah. of doing it inside the game? Yeah. It's like, oh my God, you're going to be in the Basan or in the office or the pub, you know? Have, have midnight in the in the path and suddenly oh my god they play a game I need to approve it <laughs> well maybe maybe it was Rebelers you know maybe it was Rebelers thinking like you know if they if they, if they've got the unlimited turn timer for their games and then if, if they've got a web app they can just you know they can make an entire 24 hour uh, time span to play a game can't they <laughs> do everything <laughs> they can take the whole day to look everything up on the internet and <laughs> You know, use the web app, then play the game over like six hours. And then keep checking on things all. Oh, there, there will be people that will be delighted to have six hours to play a game of Blue Ball. Yeah, true. Yeah, they can't do that with a PC game. That's true, Squirrel Dude. Yeah, this is brutal for the quick score. But I mean, the good thing is he can pick it up, hand it off to the Goblin, and then score with the Troll. So I'm. I guess you move the do moving the troll for the free two D, but I think he's going to be trying to engineer the uh, the tr the goblin throw right. Like that should be World Zatar's goal now, probably. Um, one, two, three, five. He can score, but I think he's got to think. He needs to get the 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 lucky dice here in the Loes. Not yeah. happening. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, any block could be a dead. Ooh, BB3 league results, oh, very exciting. Yeah, there's something, but yep, that should be in their fucking game, shouldn't it? Jesus Christ. Is this? Okay, it's uh... For one turn of BB3. Wait, PC, PS4, Xbox One. I'm starting to think this, maybe this doesn't look very Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Ready? No. Um, thank you very much, Cy Red Eye. <laughs> One turn of Blood Bowl 3. I'll see what I can do. Thank you very no, much. No, but that's 500 chips more for uh, Jimmy for uh, organizing Jim Cohn in York after Nick Cohn and during the UKTC. And yes, we have all the letters you said there. Because. <laughs> If you're watching this before the 31st of March 2023, they're going to be in York, the UKTC, which is a Blood Bowl tournament, but who cares about the Blood Bowl tournaments? Come on, that's for nerds. <laughs> but Good Day Nick, Jedi Nick, is coming to Europe from Australia to be there. And we're going to be there. Some of us are going to be there. And then next day, 
Jimmy has gone to the liver, the Jim the Jim Con. Yep. And then it's also the UKTC thing, you know, that which I don't think you can get a spot to play now because they got the full numbers now or uh, that's it. So, yeah. So anyway, if you are in York and you are around and you want to come around and then Jim's uh, Discord, uh, there's a channel about it. Yep. And you can recognize us thanks to our avatars here in the booth. You know, that's exactly how we look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely still got hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would never sleep with a wife of anyone, you know, that's the other, that's not a cool thing, Johnny Five. I'll, I'll demand to see the divorce papers first. I have a prize. Wow, really, really fine. <laughs> also, yes, I don't think cheating on uh, some poor soul is uh, good, you know? Mm. What a ni nice guy find you, there you go. I have, I have a... Uh, Proof of that, I was offered in a very obvious uh, way years ago, you know, the the girlfriend of a guy I knew. That I, I didn't even like the guy that much. <laughs> told me, like, uh huh, there you go. And I say, no, sorry, but no. You want that kind of stuff? Break up with the guy or whatever it was, and we can talk. Wow, nice guy, finally. Well. It's also too much trouble, too much trouble. Those things never end well. Yeah. I'd I'd li I'd like to say the same, but <laughs> moving on. <laughs> also, especially I will never I will never <laughs> sleep with a, a wife of a blue ball coach. I mean, come on, I can do better. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, it's, it's not that I'm monogamous, I'm a lonely gamus right now, you know, I, like, okay, it's very easy to have principles when you, you don't get the offers. <laughs> it's very easy to say, I will say no to a bag full of money, you know, to promote uh, right Shadow Legends in the middle of a... Uh, James' stream, even it's a fantastic game with hundreds of <laughs> different heroes that can make, you know, spending and you can get with a special code, lots of things. But no, I have principles. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, Fami is a blood line. ball coach. How dare you, Melolicious? How dare you accuse Fami of being a blood ball coach? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the game here is a uh, more or less in an impasse. And uh, it's it's fucked. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, what 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 World Star had to do was basically pick it up and probably hand over the goblin and then like make a kind of cage around him and then hope to get the goblin up to the troll in a couple of turns time and then lob him somehow. But, you know, he's obviously he's walled off by an entire line of fucking ten guard. And he is absolutely up shit creek. But yeah, World Star's had some bad dice, hasn't he? Yeah, one in nine to pick up and then one in nine to dodge out. He just needed these things to work for him. And, you know, they could have worked for him. But they haven't. There you go. And Ducky can indeed, uh, he's probably more favoured to, to go 2-0 than, than uh, World Star is to equalise. Which is fair enough, like that, it did show kind of, I thought, a complete... That's why I disagreed with Dog to the Dog, like saying this was a good idea to do against a good coach. I think it was more because the teams were so... So... Mis, uh, mismatched that he just thought, fuck it, I'll just go 2-0 up. It's going to be easy. And, oh, that blitzer of Wolf Hitara has an eagling. Oof. I mean, the team of, of Wolf Hitara have took a beating to reach the final more or less in every game. Yeah. Surprised he doesn't foul the jump up blitzer there, but I. Yeah, it's, 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 got him, it's got him controlled. Interesting here to see if Ducky will dodge or if he'll punch this guy. Ooh, that was Carls. Well, Ducky does always max blocks. Not always, but generally max blocks. 
So obviously with making that extra hit there, he's just going to block. Oh, that is unfair of Blitzer. Holding. Oh, God. Not like that pardon guy, which is a... Apple and he has, he has to use the apple now with any kind of piece. And a black orc is just too valuable, even if he only has block. Yeah. Conceit. I mean, Conceit gives you a three months ban in CCL, but... <laughs> Three season he, ban. Three season three ban. Season, so three like season, sorry. Yeah, that's 18. <laughs> he's, uh, yes, in nearly half a year. But it wouldn't be the first Orc team that I see concede on the final of the CCL <laughs> in the first half. No, that's true. The Orcs might win this now, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks, some guy 113. Thanks for saying that. No, nobody, nobody <laughs> has mentioned that since the stream began. Finally, someone you know has the vision to bring it to the table. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed, J5. Yeah, a, th a three, a three season ban in Blue Ball 3. If you want to. No, definitely not, Mordred. Mordred, I, I don't think. Uh, I don't even think that would be even fair, because they are different games after all. Yeah, no, that'd be ridiculous. And it's not like, you know, you're a cheater or have hacked the game or something like that. It's like, <laughs> I consider a game, you know? Yeah, it's already ridiculous that they get banned in Blood Bowl 2, if you ask me. Um, so there you go. I, I mean, they can ban in Blood Bowl 3. There must be the... the the tools to, you know, for CNI to handle an account <laughs> and close that account or whatever it is. Mm. They must be. I mean, it's impossible that they thought, nah, they were not going to need to do this because then the hackers will run rampant and people will try to hack anything. One of the reasons uh, Blood Bowl 2 hasn't been hacked or something like that is because it's more or less a small uh, game with a small uh, community, more or less. But if there was money involved on the prices or something like that, people will try to find a way to hack. Mm -hmm. And hacks in Blood Bowl can be very difficult to detect because you can just make a hack that, you know, whatever you want or whatever it is that happens, you get the six or the powder that you need. And you are <laughs> going to need it three, four times in a game. <laughs> oh, sorry, I <laughs> just got to gotta tell you this. I read Mordred's comment, but I read it as the warp stone is to buy rice dick. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Rick dice. Okay, that makes that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Rice, what the hell is that, man? <laughs> what? I mean, oh, come on! <laughs> we were doing so well. We were doing so well during the stream, you know, for the people of Libya, which is the country selected uh, for this uh, game today. You know, showing me, you know, as a gentleman, not taking advantage of the relationship of uh, of anyone, silly like that. And then comes uh, Mordred with his comment that. Makes Jimmy read it wrong. Mordred, this is on you. <laughs> yes. You read the chat. You read the the challenge. You can lob him, look. You can lob him. You can get the touchdown. Let's go. Come on, do it. Do it. I guess he doesn't have to lob him. He's kind of well, got to. Because he well. can punch him, punch him, punch him, free him, 2D him. So he's kind of got to lob him. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, diced. He landed, though. Glorious. Landed in the same square and the game didn't uh, break or restart or anything. Wow. Amazing. Also, in the case, uh, how many of the coaches decided, you know, have a problem with his internet connection, will have uh, six minutes <laughs> yeah. time uh, to be able, you know, to wait for them. Yeah, I mean, there was a there was a good chance that he gets him there, and it was it was. And that was drop. a really good chance. That was the guy, and it was. I love, I love. Uh, Goble is being thrown around. They must my my childhood when my grandfather used to throw me around. <laughs> but there you go. I mean, you know, it was it was the right thing. Oh my god, more removals. It was it was definitely the right player. Like you know, I, I kind of wanted to 
pick up and hand off to the goblin last turn and obviously it was the play this turn and then especially with the the tron could get him free but uh ducky yeah exactly ducky's done exactly what i said the block 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 and uh free the blitzer here the country the country is libya Stop mumbling. Am I mumbling? I'm sorry. I do apologise, Dog to the Dog. I shall attempt to not mumble anymore. Oh, the poor Goblin. Yes, Goblin's been thrown around. Uh, as I said, my grandfather uh, once threw me from uh, his ship, a uh, fishing ship, a proper fishing ship, with uh, around 10 sailors included and all that, wow. to you know teach me how to swim. So I was with one of the saving best. And a rope. I was attached to a rope, so at least you know there was a something like that. He did it in the high sea, so it was a very interesting experience for me. I can still taste the water in my mouth. Lovely memory. <laughs> Actually, lovely memory because I was attached with a rope. Not like when he threw threw out his wife, which as a joke didn't attach the rope to anything. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, let me just let me just play something here for everybody. Um, <laughs> you won't be able to hear it, Fami, but you might have already seen it. It is in the uh, it is in the clips and sound effects. This should should I this can, be I a can, sound effect. I can uh, turn on the the sound of the stream. Glorious. Yeah, but you don't want to suck off the large Bola, wangs, do you? You want to suck off the small wangs. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't want to suck off the large wangs, do you? You want to suck off the small wangs. There you go. We could have that maybe as a sound effect. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, maybe, maybe, yes. <laughs> yes. It happened today. It happened today. Uh, Mark, Mark skill. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. <laughs> oh, brilliant Pogler. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, 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 it's a hard no on the wives of anyone. <laughs> Especially if this includes, can I watch from a corner? <laughs> Especially that case. <laughs> you know, even if I'll both of them agree to it, like, about these yeah, TVs. no, uh, no. <laughs> oh, God. What if it's a birthday? Yes, that's April the first. Well, it's it's uh, it's March the thirty first. Two weeks time in it. It's on the Friday, Saturday, and probably a bit of the Sunday will be Nick Con and Jim Con. Um, yes. So I don't really know. You're in York somewhere. Is the, there is there is a proper space for um, there is a proper place for Nick's. I don't know if there's a proper time for Nick's, but I'll, you know, I'll think of a time and a place for Jim Con as well. Um, well, it's gonna be in the evening after the games of the day of the UK this year finish, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, just need a pub and people will go there and something like that. Yeah. In the room next door, I was just sneak or gym. Jesus, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> you like Sophie's decision all, uh, all around. Oh, god. And I have to say, Steve Motti, you know, we make jokes about Mrs. Progar loves the Latino, but she's married to Poglar. And we have seen Poglar's face on his streams. So clearly, he must have, you know, a built like a champ down there to be able, you know, to... <laughs> and she's Portuguese. So yeah, she's Latino. That's all. Glorious. I don't know why you always end up talking about Polar and his uh, thing about the. Uh, <laughs> because, Ansi, uh, you know, Elliot, Elliot really, really, uh, really ran with the sucking off re rolls, and, uh, and then he was talking about, you know, sucking off ELO um, for the rankings. Then, of course, the ranking standings are number one, so then it naturally ran into sucking off one. <laughs> <laughs> was the only logical uh, result. 
Yeah. And here, back to the game. Unfortunately, the chance of uh, Wolves Ritar being able to create a scoring situation is not going very well. If I were already seeing red dice into one. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's... Re reverse French opportunity. And Pogolar, that's a... Uh, you to know, congratulations. <laughs> Three through my ears. <laughs> like if that's how you call having your uh, endogamic gills of uh, one of the deep ones of Tulu, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, Perivale. We've gone completely off the rain, off the rails, as has the game, to be fair. Um, Ducky's kind of got closer to scoring than World Sitar has. Um, in the, you know, after going after going 1-0 up but you know his scoring threat is down so he would have to chain from here which he could right one two three four gfi so he can he can pow him and then blitz him and chain him forward so he can score here still he has a chance to do that very complicated but yeah it's possible to do it but end of the day when it comes to the actual you know uh, game Things are not as bad for Wolves Itar. I mean, he's not scoring, but he gets his another his second LOS uh, round. He has, uh, doesn't take that much of a... Well, I'm talking uh, maybe a little uh, quick here because... No, PC. He got close to scoring on Wolves Itar's drive. <laughs> Ducky scored on his own drive and then got closer to scoring on World Sitar's drive than World Sitar did. But didn't even try for the uh the the two nil here, which is fair enough, right? It wasn't it wasn't high odds. If maybe if he had a reroll he would have gone for it, but without rerolls, just max blocks. Yes. It it kind of did, like, you know, it was a nice play by World Sitar to try and get away. But I mean it's it's really hard. Like it's so hard for World Sitar, isn't it? This, you know, playing against this team. This team is just so much better. So much better. Yes, he was a troll. He was a troll away of being able to uh, score here. I mean, he was, but that was after loads of other things as well, right? Like, I think overall yeah. it was closer to Ducky scoring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. Uh... I mean, it's turn eight for Wolsitan, and I, I, it's very, very going to be complicated for him being able to even get a 2D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely mental. I mean, he has the troll hit, a blitz. Yeah. Can't, can't even foul, you know, or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, you can blitz him and then troll hit, yeah. That's pretty much it. But me, it's grim, isn't it? It's really grim for World Sitar. <laughs> he doesn't oh, get the Oh, that's, that's, that's it. That, that's, that's it. <laughs> you could so well, we're guy. reaching the halftime, and uh, we are probably here some of the Andy Davo uh, viewers that came through Elliot Raid, including Andy Davo himself. So, you know, that's to show how this stream has a much higher standard than the. Uh, Duderino and uh, Doctor, uh, that other guy, I can't remember his elbow, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have some good, interesting stats that uh, these two teams have, uh, until now, are undefeated in the cup, which by coincidence have happened to every single finalist in the history of the cup. <laughs> you know, that's 100% uh, that unbelievable if you ask me, but it happens every single time. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I would have taken the uh, Ripper one time. Just so that I could have a strength six guy to mighty blow hit every turn. Until he was smashed by... Uh, and you know, as a uh, Ripper has to regen too. So... But I don't hate it. You know, he went, he went for the look. He went for max look, right? He went for max look. By going for the bomber and starting on defense, the bomber could have thrown some bombs in, broken the cage, 
Like he, he, he ha I can understand him going for absolute max luck because how on earth do you beat? Like, At the end of the day, Ducky gave uh, Wall Street four or it was four or five times to score because of the secret weapons. So that gave uh, that was going to give uh, Wall Street the chance to score in the first half because uh, Ducky shot uh, his pants and decided to score. Yeah, that's the thing. Even if even if World Sitar scores here, the Cavs win overtime as well. It's just qualifying it's just PC really qualifying. That's come on. That's that's irrelevant now. We're in the cup now. <laughs> qualifying anyone uh, more or less uh, can qualify. Elliot has done it with every single race. <laughs> now <laughs> qualifying. Even Elliot can qualify for God's sake. Qualifying, qualifying, <laughs> and winning undefeated. You know, an absolutely undefeated run. Yeah, that will be jokes aside. That will be actually impressive. I don't know if someone has done it. I think uh, Nick did it. I don't know if anyone's done it. I know undefeated teams have uh, qualified oh, yeah, a few times. I don't, I don't know if an undefeated team has won it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he calls himself the losingest coach, doesn't he? Yeah. Which isn't really true, but it's a fun, it's a fun way of trying to be self-deprecating uh, and ignoring the fact that he's qualified with every race <laughs> and qualified in the race. Really true when it undefeated. Wow. What a scumbag! Look a dog try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PC, you have qualified and defeated, but you haven't won it. And now your daughter is leaving the house in shame. <laughs> I mean, to go to university, to go to university, probably more important than the fact that you didn't want CCL before she graduated, but still. <laughs> and anyway, congratulations on your daughter uh, going to uni. Hmm. Which, which uni she's going? <laughs> She's only proud of you. Ooh, that's weird. That's because she's living. She wants more money. <laughs> she's coming with the, oh, dad, I always respected you and all that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, dude. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Yes, that's true. Yes. Let's say she's going to a university in the UK. <laughs> a very good point, yeah, J5. Well done. Ooh, I'm surprised he did that. I mean, obviously, he's got to do the foul right to try and get lucky, but that makes a gaping hole here. This makes this troll position look terrible, right? Troll wanted to be like here or here. If you're going to move that uh, guy out there to foul, but never mind. Well, uh, by PC, you also sometimes mention the fact that you used to be a middle-aged man a long time ago. Yeah, that's true. Occasionally, PC does make reference of the fact that he used to be middle-aged <laughs> 30 years ago. Yeah, he still remembers when there weren't uh, any potholes in his uh, London, uh, <laughs> in the north of London. Uh, no mellow issues, I don't think you base the ball carry here, just stay in front of him. He's got two, two, he's got two stuns, right? He's got two stuns. So, yes. if these weren't he... stuns, then everyone goes in. But they're stuns, so you don't. So everyone, everyone hangs off for a turn. Big line. What can World Sitar do? Not much. doesn't have his gobble anymore, which is a shame because the gobble toss was a decent way for him to get any kind of touchdown. And now, back to Wolsey Tartar. Yeah, Wolsey Tartar's got to go back to the centre here and then somehow 
you know, have Ducky make a mistake one turn to give him some kind of stupid, silly breakaway that he can go for. It's really, really, really He needs really to be uh, very careful now. Ducky uh, avoiding any kind of uh, physical contact with uh, Worcester players. Mm -hmm. I usually apply the same policy to uh, Blue Ball coaches. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I'm just mentioning it in your hand, you know. And yes, PC, I've been on the internet in the last 20 years, that's even more. We are not, uh, our age difference is not that big. In fact, the uh, Jack Bull, which by the way, is watching, is here. Happy, New Year. Happy birthday, Jack Bull. He's 49 uh, regular years, 29 by Blue Bowl standards. <laughs> yep. But he's 49. I really don't know what Dog to the Dog is trying to trying to um, <laughs> say with that sentence, but okay. <laughs> uh, I also don't really understand what, what J5 was saying, but there you go. ABG is birthday today too. Oh, mm -hmm. the good boy, 34. Jesus. <laughs> there is anyone under 30 on the chat today? I'm not talking in Blood Bowl years. I'm talking in actual years. Has this child's game become an old man's game? <laughs> well, even more, an old man's game. Yeah. Tuki will get it later. Four. Ah, don't worry. I'm pretty sure uh, PC's daughter can uh, take care of herself. Also, probably PC's the biggest fear is that she starts dating a model harsh actor. <laughs> which is in uni, instead of an actor, harsh model, you know? Not a fucking actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> She's safe from try. She's real and not animated. Very good. Oh, he fails the GFI. He could have just fouled from the from you know being in contact here, but he wanted to make that. He's even putting in the reroll. My God, like it's better All fouling in. from this square. I'd want to do that. It's just unlucky to roll the one, isn't it? Yes, and all in and got the payoff. Mm. Oh, he got sent off though. Well, now it looks really bad that he fell from there. <laughs> now, now he spent a reroll and got sent off, so he really should have just fell oh from there. Oh my mean. god. What a price to pay. Yeah. Uh, cast, mm, I can say that Calcium uh, liked the effort, but being caught. <laughs> rookies. Rookies. Skill issue. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like the GFI. Like, I think it is better to find him from a square, but I didn't think it was worth. Like, you know, if you're going to re-roll it, then, then you don't do the GFI, right? Like, basically, is, is how that is that how that equation yes. plays out in my head. And to be clear, PC's daughter is safe from me because I could be, I'm old enough to be uh, her father. She's the daughter of her friend. And she's going to be miles and miles away from uh, any contact with me, and I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's start, let's say that, you know, uh, let's, uh, and let's remember we're making jokes about the daughter of PC, which making jokes about PC is good. The daughter is like, yeah, yeah, yeah guys, see nice. <laughs> there you go. No, PC, you are uh, five years older than me. You are the age of my brother. So, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's not my fault you look like a uh, 90 year old man. <laughs> banter? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's banter, but yeah, it's not my, I, have, I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I have any, not, I never had any kind of involvement in the physical evolution of a uh, PC. <laughs> Yeah, see, so now now Ducky goes in, right? Now now go now Ducky goes in. Now that he got the two stuns back, everyone's up, everyone's in, guard everywhere, absolute stranglehold, and it looks horrendous for worlds. And get the powder. Could be this. Could be massive. But he has put a guy on the wrong side of the ball. 
So, you know, World Star can get everyone down here. I want to say everyone, about three or four players. These two, this guy can dodge, he can blitz. Well, in fact, he could just stand up and no, uphill block. He can uphill block him. So he can get away to here. Then he could blitz him, and then, you know, he could do something. He can get, try and get something. I mean, it's, it's awful, obviously, it's awful, but what else can he find? In fact, if he can manage, the most, the most uh, risky uh, play will be try to hand off or pass or give the ball to the blitzer he has a uh, next to the tackle uh, blitzer so you know maybe yeah that's that's really hard yeah very very good but if that guy is able to yeah. run away he will be safe yeah i think it's probably safe to try and just get some kind of screen for him maybe he's four plus off this black orc right black orc four plus is off you could even 1D blitz him and then just go and like try and <laughs> try and screen here or something. It's awful. It's fucking awful. Johnny Five, that's uh, that's no need. There is inside of the venue. That that's the venue. That's the venue. Blood Bowl is the bingo. Or the retired people in uh, two decades. Yes, dog to the dog. But if you don't run there, you well, Ducky scores on turn thirteen. So <laughs> it's uh, th this is one of those situations where it's terrible. It's it's absolutely terrible. But the alternative is worse. <laughs> now yeah, there will be some people that aren't all. I might, you know, there's varying ages of old, isn't there? Like JVG being 34 and Jack Bull being 49. There is a there is a range to the old people in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I just said there is anyone under 30 in the chat. That I haven't seen it. Kalon said he was 29. We don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> <laughs> rough, rough 29 if that's true. <laughs> he had a hard paper round. <laughs> Shawnee, yeah, Shawnee was here at the start, and Ducky as well, right? Ducky will be Yeah, but nobody looks like Shawnee, so that's a... <laughs> oh, man, there we go, see, so dodging away. Like, this is what he has to do, like, he has to make these dodges and stuff to try and do something. Yes, also, yeah, today is uh, St. Patrick. Kalon deterred. <laughs> oh, it does the uphill there, because then that gives him a 2D on the jump up here. Lovely. Oh, no, it doesn't give him a 1D. Because got to it. But it gives him a 1D there, into an uphill, which means that's still better than dodging, right? That's still better than dodging. Yeah, with the other guy. This other guy around. At least uh, that will keep the strength four away from the action because he's gonna be. Yeah. Unless he decides that that decides to to deal with the lino. Yeah. I mean, this is still trash, right? This is still absolutely trash and it's easy to deal. Oh, with. Oh, Kellen is actually here. All oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't pay attention to chat, uh, Kellen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day, Kalon Deterred. Yeah, oh, having a St. Patrick being in actual Ireland. Mm. The dream of any Bostonian. <laughs> there you go, there, there's the there, there's the official uh, the official <laughs> Yeah. Oh, someone uh, joins the booth. He's a PC himself. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be asked to type it out. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, Kalon. Uh, how lovely it is, by the way, that no one has made any racist assumptions about him being drunk yet. <laughs> I mean, we're sure he's always drunk. Yeah, that's that's not racist. That's just sensible. 
Okay. No, that's, well, that's, we... that's, that's, that's that's knowing Kaolan, you know. I, I just assume he's always uh, having there a handle. I should have known I would trigger it. Sorry, Kaolan. <laughs> I mean, the only question is if, if he's off his tits on drugs or not, isn't it? That's the only, that's the only thing. <laughs> well, frankly, if you look like that at 29, wouldn't you be? <laughs> wow. He's not 29. Is he Wait. not 29? I don't think so. So Kaolan, Duck's in a 29. very small position. I think he could be. I've seen his eyes. I think he could be 29. <laughs> 29 pints? Dark, yes. Dark soul, yes. Usually no, you I'm can gonna... tell from the eyes how old I actually are, want right? a bit of your advice, Jim. Ooh. I just wondered if this game was boring you enough yet. No, On the not really. That it's, it's over. It's not over. Don't say it's over. It's not over now. Oh, Kalon's 42. I mean, wait, 29. Wait, wait. Kalon's 29. Wow, what were the chances? Right, go on. What, what advice do you want, PC? I'm going to a tabletop tomorrow. And I'm determined to coach a death roller dwarf. Oh. Because all the rule sets are turning against them to stop them happening. So, I've limited myself anyway to something that I don't think is going to be particularly competitive. But they're allowing me lots of other skills. And it's a question of... I've got two runners, one of which has to take leader or else I don't have enough rerolls. And I could get a dodge. Do I put it on the leader or do I put it on the other runner? I just can't decide. Oh, I think I'd put know, it on... You know the... a bit about dwarves, don't you? Yeah, I'd put it on the leader and, uh, you know, keep all Protect your eggs in one basket. Yeah, all your eggs in one basket. Let's yeah, go. but then if he goes after something, you know, he's very attackable then, isn't he? But I think... I mean, I'm, I'm tempted towards that. And similarly, I have a mighty blow, which I can either place on a beard with God or on it's a beard that just has the mighty blow. And in the current very foul, heavy meta, I'm tempted to spread that out, whereas usually I would stack it. Mm, I like spreading it in general. Yeah. <laughs> Same reason that now that there, you know, there's big stars removing things and fouls removing things, the more good things you've got, the better. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was it, really. I just didn't feel like typing that out, and I thought you'd be a good person to ask. Oh, thanks very much. What an honour. I know you... Well, I've always said you don't tabletop, neither does Artemis, but you've both got cracking blood bowl minds. Oh, you should tabletop, you enjoy uh, solving the better and going with an abusive team that <laughs> takes advantage of whatever they've underpriced, like Store does. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know, the whole leaving the house thing would be difficult for you. Yeah, you know, let's not, well, let's not go crazy. Yeah, come up to York and have a good time and, you know, take that as a step one. I just don't want to, I just don't want to fucking play Blood Bowl. It's not, it's not a job yeah. about leaving the house, I just don't want to fucking play Blood Bowl. I'm going to the UK to see to play Blood Bowl. Jimmy! Nah, and you've, thought, you've talked about some of the frustrations of other humans being involved and their horrible humanness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm oh, I'm just going to move these eight pieces back because I haven't rolled any dice. Oh my god, that is... I'm like, just going to stab you in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that, that did it for me. Yeah, that was that was just too much when people were doing that. It's like, oh, get out of town, get the fuck out of here. We've suddenly got a good game here. I feel quite guilty. I joined in because I was a bit bored, and now it's suddenly live and up no end. No, it's not live and up. It's over as fuck. <laughs> it's completely over, PC. Balls on the ground. Anything could happen, Jim. <laughs> it's completely fucking over. <laughs> World Sitar's drive has been completely blunted. Six versus four. He's outnumbered. Uh, and he's also got two players on the ground as well. Like it's absolutely over. I mean, if it's he not gets over. a good Anything bounce, can Don't stop he can bounce something onto the ball. He can. He can bounce something onto the ball. If he gets a good bounce, it's possible he can sweep it back up again. But how he keeps it safe seems. And it's Ducky's turn though. So I, yeah, I, I, I know. I'm Ducky <laughs> needs to first of all fail this turn quite badly. Yeah. All sitar induce a chainsaw. The orc chainsaw, no the no the goblin one, and the bomber. Bomber and the babe. And the babe. And that was it. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Is it over like Elliot? It's not over or over like my marriage. Holy shit! <laughs> it's it's Jesus, Boglar, for God's sake, man! I mean, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you one of these uh, guys that's into that kind of thing, you know? that? Uh... I, I think more like Pogler's marriage, it's completely and unavoidably over and was a, a crushing disappointment throughout. <laughs> God. Yeah, I mean, 
it's over. It's it's fully over. Be careful when you say anything in this uh, chat, Paula, <laughs> because anything can answer back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I wonder if Jaime having sex with Pogba's wife would save his marriage. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, if you care, you, you think I care about Polar in general, you know, you are wrong. <laughs> For starters. Save me, Jaime, you're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my wife. <laughs> Is he allowed to watch and pick up pointers as you do? Is that the... Uh, you know, that's, this conversation is happening for the second time to, <laughs> today. The people watching the the video on YouTube are going to be thinking that they, they rewind it. You know, they went back like half an hour. Really that. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Guantan, for changing that topic. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> yes, let's go back to the game, you know. Yeah. Well, it seems Fermia has dog to the dog, that's for sure. <laughs> Way. <laughs> now, if we're talking about money, that's a different uh, thing because at the end of the day, my pension plan is looking very well. Okay, so you'd, employed, you'd have sex with his wife for money, but not for fun. Uh, we do have a much, word for that. How much money? Yes, or I am self employed. You know, I know what means selling himself. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And I'm 45, so you know, don't question me what will I be able to do for money, for enough money. <laughs> well, enough money for the pills, I would have thought. Oh, Please don't come free. Are they, they um, sell them in the very cheap in the pharmacies in the UK? Not that I have bought them, but I have. I wouldn't know, Fermia. I wouldn't know. When uh, I go to Tesco to buy, you know, my stuff, there is a big sign of Viagra in the pharmacy, which is like... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if you are new to the channel and you are wondering what the hell is going on here, it's more or less always like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to say, you know, this is a more, you know, evolved, calm, uh, but no, this always, it's always a train wreck. Yeah, it is. The only, the only question is if the train is going to catch fire or not. <laughs> yep, correct. Thank you, Dr. Dog. I always forget. Yeah, calcium is the voice of reason. That was the funny, that was the, that was probably the funniest thing about the early days of Five Idiots was that calcium was the voice of reason. I mean, that really, that really told you how fucked that does up the set party a was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Kalon. Why would you? Why would you say something like that? Oh, Ducky has Yeah, but you don't there. want to suck off the large wangs, do you? You want but to suck off the small that, wangs. Uh, Ducky already has the ball. Makes me think that maybe he has uh, this more or less sorted out. Yeah, it looks. Is this, this going to be his third or his second? It's, it's his third. Fourth. Isn't it? Fourth. Wow. Mm. Well done. And he got he got one of the uh, he got he might have got the actual first one I don't know but he certainly got like one of the. I, first there is ones. always the thing that he won with the uh, Brett with Bert uh, won one of the first ones I don't know what the four. Ah, uh, well, that's how Bert got one right before <laughs> there were lots of good races around. <laughs> no, Bert's have got two actually. He lost in the final against Bert with Orcs, which was another like he should he, again. He had a team like this should have easily won. Seemed yeah. like there was no way for the Birds to win, and it was just a comedy mega dicing. So you know he could have like he's been this position before where he was a massive favorite with Orcs, and he he, he did. Yeah, I mean they 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 do happen. Anytime you got to roll dice, they're capable of being exactly the wrong thing or exactly the right thing either way. Mm. But this does look over, despite all of that. Yes, it really does look over now, yep. Um, as much as Elliot loves to say it's not over, um, this looks very, very much over. Oh, well, if things weren't uh, bad enough. Mm. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the game completely. I mean, uh... <laughs> massive equity that, shift. Oh no way. That, yeah, not really. But that, that key, that key must have finally, you know, relief. I mean, I see already, oh my god, thanks god, I got rid of the one. <laughs> well, it protects his players for the next game, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know, Maple makes jokes about the Open uh, League, but that's exactly what people are doing in Blood Bowl 3, playing yeah. the yeah. Open One. You know, like, oh, I've got the series playing there, there's no competition. It's like, oh, Blood Bowl 3, I'm going to invest 300 hours playing this. Mm -hmm. And then patting themselves on the back about how they're very competitive. Yeah. It's amusing. Uh, just dodging uphill here with Russell, don't you? Like, but it's, you know, it's one of the nice things about Blood Bowl, is to be honest, you know, it, it, that sort of open sandbox where people can just have fun is great. It's, um, if they're happy playing Blood Bowl, that's a good thing. I am a big advocate of having that kind of environment. You know, you press a button, you play without any kind yeah. of compromise or things like that, just to play a game of Blood Bowl and be able to live wherever you want, which I'm also a big advocate of that because there is nothing worse in Blood Bowl than having to endure 45 minutes of absolute disaster. <laughs> that's, what it's make, a... that's what makes people stop playing the game because at some point, like, you know, I spent the last hour having no chance to do anything and I had to spend the whole hour there because I couldn't leave. I mean, I, I, I absolutely get that point. We've all been there and people do have to have the right to concede out of a game they're not enjoying. It's insane that they don't. There is a flip side, of course, which is you are entering a social contract when you play a two-person game. Um, how many times have you played nine horrible games, finally got a good spin, finally got into a decent position and they concede? And you're being robbed of your game experience as well. Well, that uh, doesn't apply to me because uh, I didn't uh, play the game. And when right. I did, right. I won CCL, you know, with uh, two times CCL champion as a coach, as a player. But yes, you are right there too. You know, there is a thing that you have been waiting for uh, getting a good game. And when you start getting your game, the other person leaves. Yeah. That's why the competitive so it, it, environment... It is, yeah, it's complicated. It, but I, I absolutely do agree that we shouldn't be forced to play things that we're not finding fun. That seems absurd. Yeah. The competitive environment, you know, things like CCL, I agree, you know, getting a limit of conceits, limit of things like that, all that, you know, because you are playing for something. Yeah. When it comes for playing for fun, it's like, what do you want to do? Uh, people, you know, being absolutely destroyed, especially at the beginning when there wasn't any TV difference. A rule, you know, that was like you started in Blue Bowl 3 with your new team and you are facing a 2 million TV team. Yes, and then you go on a particularly well-known streamer's, not, I have to say, a regular Blood Bowl streamer's stream, but a, a you know, big streamer's stream. And there they are chortling about their 60 wins and ha-ha-ha, aren't they brilliant? And you just think, well, yeah, but I could go into the playground next door and punch 60 toddlers in the face. It doesn't make me a boxer, does it? <laughs> it makes you an evil, very evil boxer. I mean, I have done that, and it hasn't made me a boxer. <laughs> okay, good, good that you try to prove it, you know, by action. That's... I mean, that's how the that's when you were a teacher in uh, the UK, I guess, back in the day. No, they just let me in. That's fine. They don't mind. That's, anyway, this was a primary school, so they weren't very big. Makes, makes you an NFL player. Um, obviously, this is an extended comedic riff. I've never hit a child in anger. In anger. Okay. <laughs> in anger. <laughs> Right. Only, only enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what about in London? <laughs> or the face? <laughs> well, what a, as a matter of duty, you know? It's like, oh, okay. Sorry, darling. Sorry, kids. We live in a Tory uh, area of London, so time for the belt. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Well, there you, there you go. <laughs> No, I've never laid hand on my kids or anyone else's. I don't believe in it, but I thought it was funny. To make the joke, yes. <laughs> Pedro, I am six foot tall. I may not look it. Well, I used to be. I'm probably a tiny bit under now. I used to be a six foot and quarter of an inch, but that was in my early 20s. And I've probably shrunk a half inch or so. Oh. Yeah, all right. That's what happens when uh, you we have uh, more than enough time in Constant Hanover. That's what it happens when you, we are not doing replays. 
and also sadly the cut and thrust while it's been I mean, it's been okay it's, it's been very much expected the bigger nastier team has got it done reasonably simply without having to pull off anything particularly exciting to do it yeah we have been talking about the game but at some point the game was more or less determined in the second half <laughs> Well, at least I'm assuming that I didn't see the first six turns. I was taking my daughter to gym. Yeah, no, that's... I highly, highly approve that. Highly approve that. <laughs> the gym. No, the she's gym. a gym. She's a no, no she's, gym. A, she's a gymnast. She still goes to gymnastics on Friday evenings. But yeah, I'm she saying teaches... the gym. Yes, yeah, sorry, the gym, not a person called Jim. Yeah. Um, and then she teaches the <laughs> smaller children. Clarify. So she both works there and still does gymnastics. <laughs> Well, Wolsey Taras managed to pick up the get up the boulder. Nobody was expecting that, eh? That black orc just needs to roll more sixes than we have ever seen, and will be it will be done. Yeah. Oh, burning the one there. No, he's got jump up, so this guy could uh, could dodge and become a scoring threat. That's the only way to get a scoring threat. I think you're sort of contractually obliged to pretend that would work, aren't you? Yep. Then theoretically, you could dodge out with the black orc and throw to it. It's not 2020. That's still a thing that can actually happen. Maybe 2020 it also will require a six anyway. So. Yeah. To be honest, yes. It's the one thing mm -hmm. that really hasn't got harder. Well, I mean, fair play did it. Yep. So this guy could get chained one forward. So Ducky does have to uh, hit this guy. Um. What's it's been particularly so unexciting about this is the World Sitar hasn't played particularly badly either, from what I've seen. It's just that the, you know, the expected outcome has become the expected outcome. The bigger, better Guardia Orc team has dominated the slightly less good one. Yeah, and he's had the better dice as well, to be fair. Okay. Well then, yeah. I mean, you, know, you can see all of this. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, yeah. The he World Sitar is, is world class and he's, you know, he's played fine. Well, no, and he has been trying his very best every single time. He hasn't given up at any moment of the game, so respect for that. And he started with an absolutely epic chainsaw to the troll. Yeah. Which gave us a lot of joy to everybody viewing the game except Ducky. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there was there was a hint of a chance. Well, excellent. I mean, I, I don't like Chainsaw against Orcs. I mean, even for Fowling, I just think it's too high rolling. But if, if you feel you need those options, then going for it and going for it early is a good way to get, you know, get on top of that nasty dice curve you're looking at. Yeah, like, that's the thing, right? Like, wh how, what else can he have? Like, I would have gone Ripper yeah. for 2D magic yeah. blow hits, but, you know, I, I can understand the thinking, you know, of, like, you know, you've just got to get super lucky, so get super lucky with a bomb. Like a bomb, you know, Bombardier is shit. You know, like most of the time, yes. it's like a fucking 2 out of 10, but it can be a 10 out of 10. And the chainsaw yeah. is usually shit. Normally, it's a 2 out of 10, but sometimes it's a 10 out of 10, whereas Ripper's like always a 6 out of 10. Uh, or maybe it's a 7 out yeah. of 10. But a 7 yeah, out of 10 very ain't going to the, ain't gonna get you the win, is it? <laughs> no, it's just going to slow down the loss a little bit, most likely. Yeah. So that's what I'd say. Yeah, they're GGing right now. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, no one can score. There are no, there is no future for these teams. It is over and Ducky has his 27% yeah. win. I mean, Walsh our team was destroyed in the semi-finals and also had a rough time there along the the competition. So yeah, he hasn't had an easy way. Yep. Uh, we saw that pocket, there was a go way. And I arrived just as the ball was given to it and the troll tried to throw it, but sadly it fumbled it and it landed on its feet. But the combo had already moved, so even then it needed to get it, I think, the full nine to get it out of range of any blitzing, which would have seen him go to 1-1 one, one for the half. Yeah, it was hard to see this any other way, yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, World of Tower is great, and, but it's just the golfing team was just too much, wasn't it? He needs to get super lucky um, to get... I mean, to receive think... first, get some removals in that very first line of scrimmage or something, and then keep the snowball rolling, and it's just not very likely, is it, against Orcs? No. And that was it. And it, I mean, it's a team with 11 guard, an orc team with 11 guard, mighty blow, and all that. It's, like, it's a nightmare <laughs> to play against for any team. <laughs> yeah. And let's ignore um, J5 here and wrap up Yeah, this I would, J5, your... absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. trust my. Actually, I joke about it all the time, but I trust my wife. We've been married nearly 25 years. We love each other. We're very solid. 
Let's ignore J5 there. Sorry, <laughs> like, this like video. everybody does in his house. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Will Sitar. Thank you very much, Fimeer and PC. Been glorious having you guys in the booth. Thank you very much. It's been a very good result, certainly for Ducky, the man that won the CCL at the beginning, has come back to the end, finishing the cycle of his career on Blood Bowl 2, probably. I mean, there is still another CCL cup, in theory. It's there. Mm, in theory. But, um, People are playing for it. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that there might be one more and there might be another one. You know, we, we'll see what happens. Like, uh, the, the player yeah. base is split between Blood Bowl 3 and Blood Bowl 2 at the moment. They are neck and neck in the Steam charts. It's very unexciting because hardly anyone's playing either game. And it looks like the viewing figures have got more back to normal for Blood Bowl 3, uh, like more in line with what, what Blood Bowl 2 was. So who yeah. knows, maybe there'll be a bit of an exodus from the streamers as well. But whatever it is, um, yep, yeah, congrats to the four-time winner. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. fantastic.